Hello, I'm Francisco Castander. I work at the Institute for Space Sciences from CSIC and at the Institute de Estudis Espacials de Catalunya. Our group has been involved in Euclid since its beginning uh, and we are the group responsible for developing the simulations for Euclid. The mission requires simulations at the beginning to design and optimize the mission and now they are very important in order to extract the science and, anal and analyze the data. We have built the largest embody simulations to date. It contains four trillion particles and it was run at the Swiss supercomputer center. From the dark matter particles, we have detected halos that are structures of many particles that are really allies and correspond to the galaxies and clusters that we observe today. From the halo catalog, we have placed galaxies assigning all the properties that Euclid is going to observe. We assign luminosities, we assign positions, velocities, mission lines, stellar masses, and all the lensing properties that are going to be observed by Euclid. This catalog constitutes one of the largest that have ever been. The simulation has been built to study cosmology using the probes that the Euclid mission is going to use to study dark energy. Those are weak lensing and galaxy clustering. Although the design has been for these probes, the simulation is so rich that can also serve many other scientific purposes. The simulation has been complicated to run because it's very big and it's been a challenge to be able to generate so much data with the computer facilities that we have. We, have, we need to run in the larger supercomputer centers and be very efficient when we assign galaxies in our simulations. Normally, our steps need to be very fast and very efficient, and the order of magnitude is that we need to do things in one second for one million galaxies, otherwise it's too slow. The simulation is complicated to run, and it needs the support and help and work of many people. And needless to say that this has been a team effort with many people working in producing the simulations. Our next step is to produce the simulations for the data release one of Euclid that will happen in two years time. For this we are going to use what we currently have and also develop a new one that will simulate what Euclid will observe in the deep surveys that will go deeper than the wide survey that covers one third of the universe. This has been a tremendous effort, very rewarding, and it will be very useful to analyze the Euclid mission data.